Welcome to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green, where you'll discover actionable strategies to help your student to reach their academic goals, to excel at standardized testing, and to plan for the college admissions process painlessly. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Green. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, 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 Dr. Stephen Green, the success doc. Hey, did I tell you about my new cool digital business card? Yeah. You want to send a text to this phone number, 321-421-5213. It's kind of cool ring to it, 321-421-5213. And in the message part, put success doc, one string, S-U-C-C-E-S-S-D-O-C. It will send you my cool, functional, super excellent, digital business card. Why do you want it? Because it's got insider stuff. It's got back office ways to get a hold of me, ways to get advantages. Now, but let's talk about the topic for today. Your target score on a test like the SAT or ACT should be determined by your target school. We said another way, the target school determines your target score. What does this mean and why is it important? I work with hundreds of test prep students a year. Everybody's chasing the highest score they can. I get it. It makes complete sense. Why would you not? But the question always is, what's a good score for me? How do I know if it's going to get me to the next level? What's, when's enough enough? Is there a point of overkill? So let's, get, let's break this down a little bit. There, the, it starts with research. Fortunately, there are some really, really good programs, okay, like Navient, even Google, even just searching. What's the median SAT score for University of XYZ? Then that's usually the middle score. You could do higher, you could do lower, but that's typically your target. 50% chance getting in with the median score. So let's say median score is 1,200. What we do is we say, okay, that's our goal. That's our target score. Got it? Now, then what? Well, you look at where you are. So let's say your diagnostics, your practice tests come in at 1,100. That means we have a 100-point gap that we need to get. Go from 1,100 to 1,200 to hit your target score, maybe to 1,220, 1,230, so you have an overage. Keep in mind, rule of thumb, to go up 100 points in the SAT. Not the easiest thing to do. You have to get about 15 more questions right on the test. Roughly. It's not perfect. So if you got 100 questions before, you got to get 115 now to vault up 100 points. Again, that's not a perfect scenario. It, it scales as we go up and down. But now we've got a program. So we know your target score based on your target score. We know where you are. We know where your diagnostics, your past tests, your history says where you are. Got it. Now we plug in a program. Let's bridge that gap from where you are to where you want to be. Okay? Pretty simple. But the point is, don't have the tail wagging the dog. Don't just say, gee, I'm going to get the highest score I possibly can and then figure what, see what's going to get me. Not a terrible idea, but it's not the best and it's not the optimal way to do it. The better way to do it is set goals, set targets, get schools that you're interested in. Okay. Then look at where their standards are and that sets your goals. Pretty simple, basic message today. Really, that's it. You want more? Text success doc 321 421 Get access to the new Make Three Digital Business Card with all kinds of these links. Cool stuff. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment. Please subscribe. This is the Make Three Podcast. We are here to help accelerate your journey to success, academic and otherwise. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got value out of this. Let me know. Love comments, love feedback. And if you know anybody that wants to be a guest on the Make Three Podcast, I am booking, scheduling people right now. Dr. Stephen Green, the success doctor. See you next time. 
You've been listening to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. For more resources and support, please visit makethegrade.net.